So this video is just a brief review of two-dimensional measurement and um, sort of the process to follow when answering questions. So if you were given a question like this, find the area of the shaded region, um, most of you will know that you're going to have to find whoops, um, the area of the big shape and the area of the small shape and then subtract them. So um, remember the procedure is to write your formula. So triangle is base times height divided by 2. And this B just means area of the big. And then, so formula, then you show your work. And so the base is 10.5. Now this one's a little tricky. The height is the height for the big triangle, which is not 4.5. It's 4.5 plus 2.7, or yeah, 2.7. So it's actually 7.2. So remember, you do formula, work, and then you can punch it all into your calculator, and you can get your answer. Then we need to repeat that and find the area of the small triangle. So again, we write our formula, we show our work, so the base is still 10.5, but this time the height is 2.7. Then we punch that into our calculator, and we get our answer. And then to get the shaded, we're just going to subtract the big triangle from the small triangle. And the question said to round to the nearest tenth, and so that answer will be 23.6. And then don't forget your units, and area will be squared units. Um, so again, quick review of formula, work, answer. Make sure it's all neat and organized and clearly outlined of what you're doing. So here's another example. This one is an example of a circle. And so again, review uh, circumference, the formula for circumference of a circle is pi times diameter and in this case the diameter is 8 and remember quick review from last year we're going to use the pi button and your scientific calculator will have a pi button and then this says to round to the nearest hundredth so we're going to round to two decimal places and we'll get 25.13 and then we need our units which is meters then area area of the circle is whoops pi times r squared Again, we'll keep the pi. In this case, radius is the diameter divided by 2. So that'll be 8 divided by 2, which is 4. That's not something that you have to show. It's just something that I'm showing now so that you see where it comes from. Then you can punch that into your calculator. Round to the nearest hundredth. Be careful with your rounding on this one. The answer will be 50.27. And again, because it's area, it's meters squared. So that's just a quick review of some of the two-dimensional measurement that you have learned in the past.